Hey, so remember how I said this thing in my previous video? So I'm finally making a video about it. I just want to talk a bit about the 2.5.1 update that is coming out. The, it is really similar to the 2.5.0 update, but it's just the update that I have on the module. Yeah, so we'll move over to there, 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 and I'll show you how the module works. Okay, hello. Hello. This is the overview of the 2.5.1 update that is not yet out but will be out soon for the uh, matrix sequencer based on Arduino 80 Mega, the 328P processor. So uh, with the 2.5 update, I'm I'm trying to make it more usable and more functional. So everything is more behind but, uh, buttons and maybe some button combinations but mainly some one button presses and let's go do a quick rundown so uh, the buttons are kinda shitty on my model because I baked them way too much but what can I do about that Not much. so it works as you would expect it you have eight channels uh, and a timeline like that you have eight pages and each page is played in sequence you can see what page you're on based on how many blue LEDs or how many blue pixels are lit up and that's about everything so you can see simply the sequences there green step means or green thing means that it sends an impulse so the first channel is a kick and you can see it just works like that you can also switch to 16 by, wait no, 64 step view, because this is, you see 8 steps of each channel, and you can switch to see 64, step of one, 64 steps of one channel. You do that by pressing this button, they are not yet labeled, but they will be soon. And then you select which channel you want to see, so I select first channel, and this is the kick. If I want to go back to the 8x8 eight by, eight by eight view, I just press this button work and if I go if I want to go back I just press this button and press it again it keeps the last channel selected you can I don't know take a look at this channel maybe yeah setting the sequence length is, is also simple just press this button and you will see a orange LED that is supposed to be here but isn't for some reason that's odd Let me, oh, there it is I don't know what happened. Sometimes I, I need to fix these issues with the final release of 2.51 update. <clears throat> so you have this orange LED, and it means that that is the end of the sequence. And you can also kind of see the overview of like how many steps are selected on each step. This takes the sum of all channels, I think, if I remember correctly. That's the length, uh, and then we have on this main page by the way these are like control buttons and these are the real like interface buttons so these don't really change and these change a lot so we have these three nothing here and here this is the play and pause so you press it to pause it press it to start it when the when the sequencer is paused it uh, resets uh, it sends a high gate on the reset output and when it gets resumed it uh, brings it back, back down and it also has a reset input uh, this button doesn't do anything and this button below it is a shift button and that basically changes the function of these keys so these are now different color and so the top one is the clock source either it is generating its own its own clock or it is receiving clock from somewhere somewhere else so just press it to switch it. Uh, the second one, I don't think it does anything. No, it doesn't do anything. The third one is a clock division, and or I mean clock multiplier. So you can select if you're either either multiplying or dividing, and by how much. So if I say I'm multiplying by three, it's multiplying by three. I usually have it set to multiply by four. You can go up to eight. I should maybe bring these other channels in but I know that they make it harder for me or harder to understand me so I'm gonna keep them down uh, next thing is 
uh, here we have a gate or trigger selection page so you can select if each channel is acting as a, like a trigger or a gate just by simply selecting one of these uh, this button doesn't do anything yet and this button is the save and load menu so you have save six save spots six load spots and it shows you which is the last you have saved to and which is the last you have loaded from and that's about it you can change the tempo i should say that uh, changing the bpm is really simple just twist the encoder the encoder is kind of weird right now but yeah just simply like that and the encoder is also clickable and if you go to any menu and you click the encoder you go back and if you click it again while you're in the default sequencing thing it opens the last last open menu and yeah that's about it it's it's coming together quite nicely it's taking a lot of time but yeah that's about it oh yeah one last thing i forgot to mention this module has a built-in support so any button that has any function and you're not quite sure how to use it you can just hold it down and it will tell you what the button does so this says toggle this step um, i don't know let's press hold this button down it says stop clock and if you stop it and hold it it says start clock this is true for every button that this module has even in every menu so like if i go to step select and hold this it will tell me uh like that this means select step length or sequence length to i think uh, i think 17 steps this is to oh 25 i can't count yeah and this is true for every button so yeah hopefully this was enough for you and i hope you understood everything hey so i hope you liked the demo i know i wasn't really that audible because of the sound but it's how i have it set up here and i'm not really able to do anything about it without using the phone's built-in mic and i really don't want to do that if you are interested in getting the module then you can drop me an email and i do sell pcb kits or pre-solder pcbs or the whole build modules i've only sold two modules and i want to share the module with more people right then my email is in the description and everywhere everything is open source on github as always thanks for watching my video and i hope to see you next time bye